Trey Thomas. All right. In fact, spent the last couple of seasons as a as a coach, right? Yes. Working with the defense, the pass rushers. Yes. By the way, you did a nice job with Trent Cole. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think so. You know, our numbers definitely improved, improved in certain, a lot of those areas. Our sack numbers did definitely increase. Sack numbers went up. Yes, yes. We went from just in that segment, we went from 16 sacks the previous year to 26 and a half sacks this past season. So, you know, we did well. Well, yesterday after uh, Stephen A's comments, I was thinking, wait a second, Chip Kelly mm -hmm. got rid of a couple of white guys mm -hmm. over the last couple of weeks, and then he hired two or three black players. Mm -hmm. So how, how could it be color lines here? Well, what, what we're looking at is and one of the things that you're seeing right now, and, and, and these are things that you have heard in the locker room from some different players. Is Eagles that, locker room? Oh, yeah. You've heard this from some certain players that they feel like there is a hint of racism. Like, I personally can't, I wouldn't, that you, when you put that tag on someone, you have to kind of be careful with that. But mm -hmm. there are some of the players that kind of feel that, that that's what it is. Because especially when there was a report that came out last year that the Eagles was one of the whitest teams in the NFL. So you start to see the culture of the team change extremely quick when Ch Coach Kelly takes over. But he has seven black coaches, doesn't he? Yeah, you have seven assistant black coaches, but only one assistant coach is over the segment. The other guys are assistants to the assistant coaches. Okay. So it's, um, Deuce Staley is the only one that's headed over his, um, over his segment that's going to be in charge of his group. The other guys are just assistants to an assistant coach. Uh, what, what do you say that some might say, well, this might just be strictly business. I mean, Jeremy Macklin, you wanted more money. Shady McCoy, so at one point we were questioning in the season, is he the same player? Uh, well, I think that what Coach Kelly is doing, he's just making decisions that based off of what he feels is right for his team. But there are some guys that feel like there is some, some, some issues there. But he replaced Shady with a black player who decided not to come here now yesterday afternoon. Well, you replaced well, you replaced Shady with a linebacker because you traded well, that's true. him. Yeah. You know, so who you traded him for, for an Oregon player. Uh, but to replace the running back position, they picked up Frank Gore. So they went after a black player that's 10 years older, you know, so you're bringing in someone, I mean, not 10 years older, but that's in his, going into his 11th year. Um, so, of course, you're going to have to have some, some black players in there that's going to come in, but, you know, that's just what some of the feel is sometimes I'll be darn. in the locker room. Has he ever addressed it or said anything? Or well, said... no, he's never addressed it with the team. Um, only, th only time he had to address it was when Riley, with the Riley Cooper situation. Yeah. You know, where he uh, went in and did what he did. Yeah, so, in hindsight, you know, why is Riley Cooper playing on the team? I don't know. You know, well, because Coach Kelly backed him, and, you know, and they took sent him off to have some uh, coaching with how to handle race. I don't know. But my question is with that, when you look at a Riley Cooper, because everybody says, why do we keep talking about that? If Riley Cooper was black, if that was the same situation, we're not going to say if he was at a Young Jeezy concert or something like that. But if he was at a Trey Songz concert and he was black and he met up to a white person and was talking like that, or even if he was a homo, talked to a homosexual person and was gay bashing, <laughs> would he still be Have on the team? Have you heard any players around the league not wanting to come here? Uh... <laughs> It, not, I haven't heard that personally. I have not. I cannot say that I've heard that personally. You know what? I, I was listening to Stephen A. yesterday. I happened to be watching it live. They kept using the word culture. Race was racism was not brought up. It's culture. It seemed like he was trying to say that coach really wants people who uh, just listen to him, like a college player. Don't be too strong. Don't be too strong with me. Don't fight with me. <clears throat> I think that's every coach's. Situation, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and no coach wants to be challenged, you know, especially publicly. So I think every coach is going to be on that same type of program where they kind of want someone that's going to come in and just listen to what I have to say and just follow my orders. How's your relationship with Chip now? What do you think he's going to think about this interview? Well, you know what? I think that I'm not coming in and saying anything that's really extravagant. I'm not lying about anything. So. I'm doing what I'm just saying what I've heard and saying what I've seen and I'm not you know so I can't see it being any issue good to see you all right thank Looks you it's like you can still play that's the illusion I try to give off this <laughs> is all you know yeah this is all show this is all muscles. Muscles. these are show muscles now you know <laughs> great to see you let's get a